Hello home built helicopter fans. In this video I'm going to start building the tuned exhaust for the coaxial helicopter. But what is a tuned exhaust? Nah, it don't work like that. But it does use sonic pressure waves in order to create more power. There's plenty of information on the internet about how to build two-stroke expansion chambers. I'm not going to go into depth, but here's the basic gist of it. So this is what I've built. As you can see, I've built two, and that is because there are two cylinders, and I want the sonic pressure waves to go back into the right cylinder rather than get split and not uh, made the most of. So as I understand it, when the engine blows out the exhaust you get a, a sonic pressure wave which comes up out through the diffuser cone into the baffle cone and at this point here that is considered your tuned length so the distance from that point to the port in the engine is the tuned length and that is determined um, by a few things one is the rpm that you're running out so if you want this power to come in earlier then the tune length is longer. If you want it to come up at a higher RPM then it will be shorter. It's also uh, affected by the exhaust gas temperature and it will travel at a different speed depending on what temperature the exhaust gas is. So you need to estimate that based on the, the pressure inside the cylinder and then you can get your tuned length. So the wave comes up, goes along to the, diff uh, the baffle cone, gets reflected back into the cylinder at point which um, it plugs the, the exhaust port. So it stops the, the new unburnt fuel coming out into the exhaust when it shouldn't be and it plugs it and uh, provides more power by doing that. Also the diffuser cone, when the pressure wave comes out and it gets to the diffuser cone, there's a negative pressure wave that goes back into the engine, helps scavenge the air fuel mixture and pulls that into the cylinder and that also gives you more power. So this is uh, basically how it works. Um, there's, like I said, there's lots of information, really good information on, on YouTube um, about how to design this. You might also notice that I've used aluminium and I wanted to use aluminium for lightweight um, but I couldn't find many examples of um, expansion chambers being made of aluminium um, so I wasn't sure if it's going to work and I still don't know but I think it probably will. Um, so the next job is to cut the, this and start pie cutting um, to make this go round um, towards the engine and uh, that's the next thing to do. I've bought a bandsaw to help me do that and uh, I've got to try and keep the tune length the same so I um, might have to do a bit of measuring to make sure I get it right. I'm also going to make um, some baffles um, to quiet it down. Um, you can buy baffles but they're usually some sort of steel and aluminium possibly combination so I want to make them as light as I can as well. Okay that's it for this video. Stay tuned.